Law has penetrated Big Mum with his shock willy. Yo, Higassin here with a One Piece double bill. My reaction and review for One Piece manga chapter 1038 and 1039, kicking it off in numerical order with 1038, and I can see straight away we got Niji and Yonji in a book from Mont. Door. So they have been captured that explains why they were not in the last issue's cover page image. A little bit sad about this because Niji is uh, he's my cosplay Germa character. To see him here captured um, with Oven overlooking as well. Oven sitting there. He's looking pretty clean too. I wonder how they're going to get out of this. Is Katakuri going to turn up? Uh, are we going to see something with Katakuri happening in the other things? We'll have to find out maybe in the next chapter. Uh, the reason why I'm double binning this, by the way, is because I've been very, very distracted playing Pokemon Legends Arceus. And I was so distracted last week, I completely forgot that I had to do it once. I was like, I'll just wait. I'll just wait until this week. So, let's get into it. It's called 1038 Kid and Law versus Big Mum. So, the speculation was correct. Big Mum fight is going to happen before the Kaido one. I think that was pretty obvious, but I did kind of speculate that we're going to get a little bit of the Luffy Kaido stuff. Then we're going to go back and get the Big Mum one out of the way. So kind of here looking like Big Mum is going to be the first Yonko to fall, but she has been kicking around now for a while. Um, so it is about time she finally falls. But let's get into it. Kid and Law. Maybe we'll see more of their Awakening versus Big Mum, but we're not starting there. We're starting with Rizo. Are we going to see the conclusion of this fight? Maybe third floor. The flames. There's fire all around. Looks like Rizo's on fire. They're both on fire. If you got Kuji's on fire, undo the jitsu, Rizo, or we'll both die. Oh, he's like sacrificing himself. Huff, 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 and it's cutting away. Interesting. Looks like uh. They're in like a proper stalemate. Looks like Rizo's like doing that same thing of I'm going to take you with me. Second floor. Okay, we're just skipping around now. Get out of the castle. It's a dead end. We can't escape. I'm a little bit worried about this fire when we get to the anime. Because obviously we're going to have really epic stuff with Luffy versus Kaido. But then you know that there's just going to be shot after shot after shot of the flames spreading. You know, like, remember Pika storming through Just Rosa? And it was shot after shot of buildings collapsing. I don't want that in the anime. Just reaction shot after a shot of some fire, some t beams falling down, shot of some fire, some more beams. Oh, God. People screaming. Please, no. No. Anyway, um... The fire creek, creek. So uh, speaking of beams falling down, I just mentioned it. A beam is about to fall down. The ceiling is going to give way to some random people. And it's coming down like a big waffle. But boom, Jimby is there. Jimby is there to save the day. Oh, you're from the Straw Hat crew. You're all still in here. Get out while you can. So Jimby saving random people, being an absolute hero. Wheeze, wheeze. How have the flames spread so far? And there's just people down. It's one thing to die in battle. But these flames are going to kill scores of men all on their own. And we just see like random people down. Random members of the Beast Pirates. Hmm. Is Jimby going to... Is Jimby going to save them all? That'd be awesome. Performance flaws. There's stuff is still going on down there. Stay away from Big Mum. Don't get anywhere near the fight. Just the explosions going on. Oh, we see the squirrel. We see Chibi Chibi Chopper. What is it, Dr. Chopper? Oh, that's it, says Chopper. What the? Boof! And he's no longer, he's still chibi, but he's no longer chibi chibi. He's back to, uh, I guess it's like brain point. He's guess to be back to his like normal-ish form. Uh, eek! Oh, good. Your monster, your monster risks have passed. Huff, huff, says Chopper. I'm back, but guess turning tiny and weak is the side effect then. But enough about me. It's the side effect for now. Miyagi, I'm worried about Zoro. Ah, yes, the medicine we gave him. In exchange for the temporary burst of extreme healing, he'll have to suffer twice the amount of damage. So we're just getting reminders of what, what it's all about. Later, right? I hope he's still able to win his fight. Don't worry, Chopper, it's done. Uh, I mean, he was so injured he couldn't move. And now it's doubled. 
He's going to die if he... Oh, um, and we're cutting to outside. We're cutting to Zoro. Who the hell are you? What the hell? What? Z <laughs> okay, well, I think that's... Okay, I think that's pretty ob obvious who it actually is. Z he's going to die and Zoro is looking up and there is the Grim Reaper looking down on Zoro. What's going on? My body won't move. No, stop. Don't do it. And he's raising a scythe. There's a swirl and a wind. And we can see a face. Now, it looks like Brooke. <laughs> Obviously, it's a skeleton. It's a skull. Uh, I'm gonna... It's a tall person. I'm gonna guess it's Brooke. But he's in a fight. So why would he be there, actually? And why is he wearing that? Hmm. I mean... Knowing Oda, it's going to be some kind of joke character. Uh, so, you know, it it's either something like Brooke, but he shouldn't be there anyway. Or this, is, or, or this is like a Devil Fruit user that we're not aware of yet. Or somebody whose powers we haven't seen yet. No, I want to say Hiori, but she's with Orochi. Uh, we haven't seen, um, what's his name? Uh, Denjiro in a while, maybe? Um, interesting. Okay, there's a, like a little mystery. I'm sure it's probably going to be played for a joke, right? Uh, so it's either a funny joke with Brooke, which seems unlikely, or some kind of devil fruit user that we haven't been aware of yet. Anyway, uh, right brain tower... Or it's something like crazy, like you have inherited the demon will, or something like that. Uh, who knows? Um, oh, it could be Onimaru. He can. I don't know. He transforms because he ate, because he ate a devil fruit. Ne never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Ignore that one. Just thinking off the top of my head. Uh, okay. Uh, right brain tower under the dome. Onimaru the, the fox actually ate a human human type fruit. So that samurai kind of monk is his devil fruit. So he wouldn't appear as this. Um, Right brain tower under the dome. Frankie Zoro. I guess we're not going to get anything with those elephants this chapter, right? Oh, okay. So Frankie is near Zoro. Okay. Move it. Stupid Zoro. How far did he go? Oh, cool. Frankie's on the way. Right. Cool. Uh, cruel space first floor. Damn it. That, that was Whitebeard's division leader. Why is he helping out these young guns? Oh, okay. So, Marco has been making his way somewhere. Interesting. I can see Izzo. So maybe he's on his way to help. Uh, first basement floor. So far, we're not... What page are we on? So far, we're on six and seven. And I haven't had much of Law and Kid versus Big Mum. Uh, hup. So, it looks like someone's jumping. Yeah, that's Izzo. Jump. Oh, he's bleeding. Izzo's bleeding. Huff, huff. I was too sloppy against a large group. Remember, Izzo, these are still the Animal Kingdom Pirates. Kiku, Kinemon, I hope you've managed to escape. Oh, so, okay, something happened off screen. But he's dropped down and two CP0 people are there. Cypher Pole. It's the tall guy with the mask and the Rob Lucci looking guy. That's right, we're Aegis Zero. I knew you were here, but we never saw each other today, Izzo. Oh, this is interesting. What's this interaction between them? That's right. We're age of zero. I knew you were here, but we never saw each other today, is it? That's like he's saying, like, uh, you know, you don't rat on me, I won't rat on you kind of a thing. Given my job, I shouldn't be allowing the remnants of the white bear crew to run free after their hero historic crimes. But we're only here to deal with the Straw Hat Pirates. Until we meet again another day. Oh. The Whitebeard Pirate. If you don't mess with the Straw Hat Pirates when you're with the right Whitebeard Pirates. No, CP0. Don't go yet, says Izzo. Oh, we're cutting away. We're getting a bad ass uh, Izzo moment and we're cutting away. Come on, no, no more screening with Izzo. Right, um... Armory Castle Basement. Okay, we're dealing with the, I don't know, what, what was it called? The fire thing uh, going into the weapon stash. Here comes Yamato. 
Uh, fan favourite Yamato, please be in time, please be in time, says Yamato, rushing down, rushing down the stairs, rushing towards what looks like becoming the next Straw Hat member, with how important uh, Yamato is becoming now. The fire thing is about to hit the explosives. Ah, uh, no, don't. Please stop, says Yamato. Go in. She's transforming. You can see her transforming uh, into a ice wolf. Ma Manuji Glacier Fang freezes all of the explosives. I don't know how that's really going to help versus fire because it will just make it right. Huff, huff. If this much gunpowder explodes at once, we're done for. It's hitting it. It's going. Pssst. Is it going to be enough to cool down the flames? Don't touch those explosives. Yep. Now Yamato's hitting it with her club. Uh, Ma Mao Roba. Bam. Lord Uro. Oh, the thing is actually speaking. Lord Orochi. Hands. Oh yeah, it's it's created like a little hand, a little hands like popped out. So that's why Yamato is saying hands. So it's going in for like a fire punch. And we're cutting away again. Oh, so all of these teases. Bef remember, all of this is happening in like 15 minutes. <laughs> it's crazy. A uh, performance floor. Stop it, Big Mum. There she is. There's Big Mum. We see a we just see a flaming head, lightning. Our captains can't move anymore. Our captains? <gasps> is Beppo there? Is Penguin and Sachi there? If you keep going, they're going to die. And there we've just got two people. I can't really make out who they actually are. I'm guessing they're part of kids crew. Give them, cut them a break. And there's Big Mum towering over them. Huff, huff, ha. Listen to your men pitying you. Captain, boss, says uh, people off screen. <gasps> We gotta, oh, how cool would it be if Beppo just comes in and gets gets like a revenge punch for Zeppo? Uh, must make you feel pretty pathetic, boys. Ma, 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 ma. Ah, and they, they are down. But we know we know what the chapter was called, so they are not down. But oh, kids got white eyes. Huff huff, says Big Mum. Boss says the kid pirates. Looks like there's like some long arm gale there. Uh, hang in there, boss. Are you still breathing? Oh, we have got some, uh, Jim Bart's there. Medical team, save the captain. Silence, you runts. This is a battlefield. God of lightning, Tenju. So big mum's coming in. Big lightning bolt just taking out all of the uh, the fodder of the crew fodder. Huff, huff, says big mum. I've yet to hear a roar of victory from Kaido up above. You better not... You better not still be up there. So Big Mum's now turning her attention up to the roof, playing patty cake with that straw hat. Boy, Kaido, wheeze, wheeze. Hera, take me up to the roof. Yes, ma'am, mama. Even I'm getting tired now. It's time to put an end to this. Confirmation there that Big Mum is getting tired. Uh, she's been out for a long time. Multiple arcs. <laughs> but Law has stood up again. Kroom. So we get a, we see a room form it. So he's doing his awakening one. Uh, huff, huff. Anesthesia. He's putting it into his sword. We're done here, say, says Big Mum. <laughs> okay, page 14 and 15. Oh, no, I'm guessing that's... I'm guessing that's Law saying that. And... Oh, is this how his awakening works? So, so Law is standing there and his sword has just gone massive and a, and has cut through Big Mum's head. Like gone through the bottom and out the side. Whether or not it's actually like kind of penetrating in that kind of way, I'm not sure yet. Because that is very gruesome if not for One Piece. Wow. It's gone through her arm as well. 
But we can see Lord Sword has like an aura around it. So how I think his awakening works is that, because it wasn't very clear last time. Normally he makes a room around him and he can manipulate things within that room. But it looks like in his awakening he puts his room into things and that allows him complete manipulation of that object. Which is bizarre because you'd think that if, so if something was in his room he could manipulate it anyway. But this looks like he can actually kind of manipulate it on like to this extent that we're seeing. He's made his sword not only like super long, but he's also managed to penetrate Big Mum's iron skin. So maybe by putting it in there, he can really, really like on like a proper like subatomic level, not just like breaking things up and moving things around, like literally mess with the properties of the object with his with his room or his croom in the in an object, right? I'm guessing that's how it's worked. Let me know in the comments below if I'm if I'm messing this up uh, with my interpretation of it. Uh, but that that's like at first I was like, it doesn't seem he's uh, awakened. Doesn't seem very powerful, but it does. <laughs> it is here. Ah, Big Mum's dead. Says random people, and so does the Gerd. I mean, can't be dead because the Gerd is still there, right? Law's here now. Tr uh, not Law, sorry. Chopper's here now. He he's gone to the wrong people. Traffy, says Chopper. What's with that huge sword? Yeah, Chopper's asking what I'm asking. Huff, huff. I know the last one had an effect. The penetration doesn't hurt. The real pain is from... Okay, yeah, so it's... Like I say, it's not as gruesome as it looks. It's not really... The sword is kind of phasing through. <laughs> okay, that's a weird attack name. <laughs> um, so the the so now comes the actual thing. Shock, Willy, <laughs> best One Piece attack name ever. Law has penetrated Big Mum with his Shock Willy. You've heard that right. I'm sure other people have already done the joke. But Law is penetrating Big Mum with his shock willy in this chapter in One Piece 1038. <laughs> Graphic stuff in the manga this week. Shock willy, Big Mum is writhing in pain. There's shock waves coming all out of her. A current has gone through the sword. Big Mum, boom, has collapsed. It's like a vibration on the inside that we heard before. It's like Fishman Karate, but amplified. Uh, so Big Mum's not down because the Gerd, because the Girders are still coming up to uh, coming up to Law. Vengeance for Mama, they all say. But now they're getting pulled back. Goes, huh? What's this? I'm being pulled, and we know who that is. And they're all going flying towards towards Kid. He's back up, backward. Ah, uh, would you, would you eye beam stop yapping and obey my magnetism? You're still standing, kid, says Big Mum. Wheeze, wheeze, I guess you brats really want to take my head, don't you? Ha, 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 says kid. For some reason, I feel like I'm driving by a different, driven by a different goal now. Oh, we're going to get some good character development here by kid. I'm guessing Kaido's nearly done up there too. Even water droplets can carve stone, given enough time. There ain't a single thing in this world that's totally impervious to damage. Oh, okay, cool analysis there from Kid. Um, you know, and Kid as well, showing some faith in Luffy there, you know. He, he's saying even Kaido's probably knackered up there, right? Punk, con, uh, cor, wait, Punk, corner, Dio. He's gone in with his big, like, robot head steamroller thing attack onto Big Mum, pushing her into a wall. Oh, it's a ball, is it? Okay. Uh, what a huge ball! It's even bigger than Big Mum's giant form. Listen to me, old hag. Oh, excellent from Lauren Kid. 
At the same time, I'd rather die than let you go to the roof. They're protecting Luffy. That is awesome. To be continued. Oh, I don't have to wait long because I can read the next one straight away. Excellent. Excellent chapter. Uh, Lauren Kidd. Fantastic. Uh, overall, best chapter? Mm, no. Because there was like there was just fluff at the beginning. <laughs> there was just fluff and jumping around and like bits getting skipped. There was some interesting stuff in there. Um, Zorro with the Grim Reaper. What's that about? Um, I'm sure it's going to be a joke. Could it be something more, something more meaningful? Um, I doubt it. So uh, not going to deal too much on that one. Uh, the probably the most interesting bit in there was Izzo and uh, CP Zero. Really want to see where that goes. Um, Yamato has finally got to the to the weapons thing. I think that's pretty obvious that. Uh, the ice is going to prevail against the flames there. Um, yeah, I'm pretty, that, that, that's, we, we all kind of knew that was going to happen. Uh, but really cool of Yamato there to get there, show the speed, show the power, see more of her uh, devil fruit. That's really awesome. Uh, and then, yeah, and then we cut into the cool stuff. Uh, confirmation with Law Sword. That panel, I was speechless with a sword going through. Good kind of more confirmation of kind of how the actual uh, awakening there works. Kid getting back up. Epic line from them at the end. Uh, I'm not going to say it's like the best chapter. Beppo didn't get his Zeppo revenge. Uh, where's Penguin and Sachi at? You know. Um, Gene Bart disappoints as always. Uh, but still... Uh, the the epicness at the end and the Izzo stuff make this one a I'm not going to give it gold I'm not going to give it gold because at the beginning it wasn't miraculous you know it only had like maybe only had really that one page that was like a wow moment um so I'm just going to give this one a solid purple tier I think um if it was all if they did, if it was like all law and kid, then I think I'd give it a much higher one. But uh, that that flame thing falling down, I've never cared about it. Um, and yeah, that took up a couple of pages here as well. So yeah, I'm just going to give this one a purple tier. But it was absolutely epic at the end. Uh, I love it when characters do those like big declarations, and that's when the chapter ends. What hype ends? Let's get on to the next chapter. Okay, here we go, live reaction and review of chapter 1039. We're not going to find out what happens to Niji and Yonji because we got a colour page image. Um, okay, then it's just the crew going through, going through the jungle, I guess. Robin's in the background looking at some ruins. There's a monkey covered in jewellery. I'm sure we've seen that monkey like several times, right? Uh, on these cover page images now. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Monkey D, Luffy. Um, okay, this is a, it's an alright one. Not the best. Frankie's eyes are completely cut off by the cave. It's not fair. Um, but alright, cool. Fine. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, oh, Onigashima is getting close. Uh, is there's... Oh, oh, Momo. He's made like a... He's <laughs> Bless you, Momo. He's made like a little uh, cloud rope and he's trying to pull it backwards <laughs> above Wano. It's moving backward. Huff, huff. It's moving. Must get further away from the cabin. Hey, go on, Momo. Go on, Momo. You can do it. Um, stop. Oh, top billing. This chapter's called. Okay, top billing. Interesting. Who's what's what's that gonna relate to? Is a poo gonna do a show or something? Or Brooke? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I will not allow this thing to drop on the city. Hmm. <gasps> huh? Is someone calling out to me? Huff, huff. <gasps> Zunisha, Zoe, or the other elephant. I mean, you'd think... You'd think Momo would recognise if it was Zunisha's voice, right? Hmm. Is this a clue that it's, it, it is other elephants? Huh? Is someone calling out to me? <gasps> are we are we gonna get what I speculated where the the Onigashima gets lowered onto some elephant's back to reflect that like old world map of how people thought the world looked riding on top of four elephants' backs? 
I think it was four elephants, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, performance floor inside the dome. Here we go, Big Mum uh, versus Kid and Law. Oh, we got a really cool shot. We couldn't quite see it very well in the uh, last chapter. That's why I thought it was like his mech. But you can see the shot of the ball here, of Kid's mechanical ball. That looks absolutely awesome, that design. Look at that, that's so cool. Um, Big Mum got knocked off her feet. Yes, she did. Look at the size of that thing. Okay, lots of fodder here. Uh, Big Mum's not down for the count, is she? Please, no, not them. Is that Panda Man, or is that just the guy's shirt on the next one? Uh, way to go, boss! Uh, captains! All of their, uh, all of the respective crews cheering, apart from Kaido's crew. <laughs> Big Mum is not down yet. Ah, she says. Huff, huff. That's gonna be hurting the old hag now, says Kid. Hey, Eustace, time for round two. And bloop, Law has appeared on the back. So Law's up on the ball too. You just had to do your big fancy attack right off the mime to make it look like you were the winner. <laughs> They're still fighting. It's like a Zoro Sanji rivalry going on here. I'm not your... Oh, here we go. This is why it's called Top Villain. I'm not your opening axes, Law. Who cares about that? It's not important right now. Uh, I actually love it. You'd think that Kid... The, the, the roles have reversed. You'd think that Kid would be the one to be like, haha, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the victory. And you think that Law would be like the cool-headed one. No, this is serious, you know. But maybe, maybe Law's been hanging around with Luffy too long, you know. <laughs> Dangle? What's this? Oh, Big Mum's hands raising up. Oh, she's gonna use her power. If you really think so... Then you go first next time. Put a real big hurt on her. Then I can finish the job. They're Don't tell me what to do. The ultimate attack I've got up my sleeve is the one that will end the old hag. Oh, yeah? What comes after the ball? A hippo? An elephant? Oh, an elephant? An elephant? An elephant could turn up. Uh, shut up. Like I tell you my secrets. <laughs> Look at Big Mum's arm. Oh. Yeah, okay, her arm's all broken. Oh, that's gross. Um, a shockwave from the inside. Feels like I cracked some ribs too. Gotta watch out for Trafalgar's moves. They're dangerous. So she takes out some soul, puts it into her hand. Here, I'll give you life back. Come back to me, bones, and click. Boom, she's all ripped now. Uh, yes, mama. Yes, mama. Mama, mama, mama. So while they're fighting, see, because they're fighting, they don't notice what's going on. I'm going to be honest with you, no jokes, huff huff. The next round's going to be the last one for me. I won't have any strength after my next attack, but I guarantee you it won't miss. So I need you to. I just told you not to give me orders, says Kid. But now Law is flipped to being serious. Okay, so he's got one attack left. That's why he wanted it to be the finishing blow. Prometheus, Napoleon, Hera, here we go. Yes, mama, and they've all combined. They've all combined into like a, a electric cage around the sword. Oh my God. Prometheus has been stabbed on Napoleon and is shooting out a flame out the top of the sword and Hera's made like an electric cage. It's like a, it's like a try attack. Um, uh, she's made a lightsaber. Mazer, saber. Cuts the ball in half. That's nothing. This is just scrap to begin with, says Kid. Yeah, he can just ease. Yeah, you know, just because you cut scrap in half doesn't mean you can't reforge it. Huff, huff. Ma, 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 ma. You're nothing, says Big Mum. The time for dreaming is over. Listen up, you brats. We've sunk hundreds of people just like you into the sea, says Big Mum. And it looks, I think that's just Kid, I can't tell, is rushing forward. We've been reigning as emperors for decades since the days before you were weaned off as your mother's milk. This is big talk. This is, this is a classic villain gloating. This is the end of Big Mum. Surely in this chapter. Come on. A sign, says Kid. He's going in with everyone's new Kid anime uh, cosplay, sorry, pose, a sign, S, 
What? Oh, he's branded. What is this? He's branded big one with an S. Oh, okay. Okay, this, this is a different one of his power. So to do with the magnets, S, and then he's put an N on a on like a wall, and that has made Big Mom go boom onto the wall. So them two things are stuck together. That's a really cool attack, actually. I like that. I, I can't, I can't get loose. And now, yeah, as I said, he's re, he's scrap. It doesn't matter if you cut in half. He's reformed it. Mama, look out! The ball, bam! Big attack. Oh wait. Oh, okay, so Big Mum sees it coming, but with her strength, she's still a Yonko, remember, she spins it around so that the wall that she's fixed to blocks the attack. What? She stood up, tower and all. That's just ridiculous, says Kid. And now she's facing down in front of Kid. Why would you put all this extra weight on my back, says Big Mum. Mother's... Oh, what is this attack? It's like smoke's coming out of her mouth. Mother's visit can... cannon. Okay, so this is going to be a big attack. Mama's visit. Oh my god, we're going to get Mother Caramel uh, flashback or something here. Whoa. What? What? What is that attack? Mother's visit. So is this like where she ate Mother Caramel? Is this like her soul inside and using it as attack? 3,000 says Big Mum going in for a big slash. Leagues of... Run for your life, says a bunch of random people. And kids just like in the anime lighting. Uh, misery. And she has fired off this like energy, ghostly woman with like hair all over the place. I'm guessing that's kind of meant to be like Mother Caramel or, or something. Huh? It's moving her attack. It's like a spirit. It's like a soul. It's the soul like... Her power is souls, right? So it's like, come alive. Yeah, it's alive. Ma, 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 ma. This weird naked giant ghost. Wheeze, wheeze. Keep going, misery. Destroy those little. But then she was distracted on kid. Uh, Law has done his classic room. He's made a giant tower above big mom. This is, this is going to look so good as well in the anime. Tact. Boom, he does the finger. You know what that means. Crash. Crashes down on top of uh, Big Mum. <gasps> oh, my God. Look at this. Next page. <laughs> this is a great... This is... I'm telling you, man. This is this is going to be gold. Uh, minimum gold tier. Um, so, Big Mum. Bang. Building crashed down on her. Artwork. Absolutely amazing. The detail in the building. As always, Oda. You know... We, look, you can even see, like, the vengeful spirit trying to crawl away as it's being crushed. Uh, just attention to detail. People running away. Look up, looking straight up. Big Mum's skirt. Uh, but thankfully, it's all darkness in there. And then Law, he's awakened in power. Kid is watching on. Could this be the finish? Could this be the finisher? Did, could Law be the one to get the finisher after they're fighting? Huff, huff. Puts it into his sword. He's going in with a stab. I can already see it on the next page. Absolutely incredible. Boom. Onto Big Mum's like, I want to say a heart, like a chin. Uh, right there. Not you again, Trafalgar. We know how badly this hurts. Okay. So they're on the performance floor of Onigashima up here in the middle. Yamato is down here in the weapon stash. We know that his sword can go like super, super long. Uh... It's gone all the way down through Onigashima, past Yamato, underground armory. What the, says Yamato, all the way down to the ground. All the way down to the ground. You can see Momo trying to push it away. Could, could Lord just use this to stop Onigashima, you know? Urf. Onigashima above Wano. Good job it wasn't above the flower capital. What a power. Yeah, Lord's, Lord's awakening, as I just mentioned in the last one, uh, is awesome, actually, what he can do. So
So you think you're hot stuff, do ya? Oh, she's arm it, Hacky. She's like trying to punch him. You don't want to let go. Huh, Trafalgar. Captain! There's, there's, um, what's this link looking guy next to her? Uh, anyway, not yet. We can see the tip of the sword is like in the earth. Not yet. Law is doing a Luffy. He's tanking the hits. Must go deeper. So he's just drilling, drilling, drilling through the earth. Why deeper though? What's wrong? Give up the ghost already. Oh, is she trying to take, take his soul or something? What are you doing, Captain? Get away from her. You're going to die. Huff, he's, he's proper holding on. He's pushing his sword all the way in her. Puncture? Huh? No, don't, says Big Mum. <laughs> Here we go again. Trafalgar Law has got on top of Big Mum and has done his puncher willy. And there's this big shockwave going all the way down the sword. I don't know why he had to get it. I don't know if he meant to get it down into the earth or he's meant to get it like deeper into Big Mum so that every part of the sword up to the hilt is in Big Mum. But Law has done his puncher willy on Big Mum and then the shockwave has gone all the way down. Has left a giant crater on the floor of Onigashima, of, of, uh, of Wano, sorry. A giant crater, thank God that wasn't. <laughs> Thank gold Roger that that wasn't above the flower capital and that Momo was able to push it backwards. Big Mum, Big Mum looks out. She's, Bleh! that is an anime defeat face, but there's like ghostly stuff coming from her mouth. Cough, says Big Mum. What? Where did that giant hole come from, says Momo, looking down. Momo is high in the sky, and we know how big Momo is, and look how big that crater is on the ground. What's with that hole, says Yamato? Burn him to death, misery. Yes, mama. Oh, wait. Burn him to death, misery. So, so it wasn't an attack. Misery is another homie, because it's saying, yes, mama. So it's, yeah, it's like a vengeful spirit, probably like the essence of Mother Caramel's soul, but the homie version, or like the very spirit of Big Mum, but the homie version. So it is another homie, another one of Big Mum's one. Do it, Eustace. Oh, wow, look what Eustace has made now. Big Mum's looked up. What is that? And he has made a giant gun. <laughs> Whoa. And it looks so cool. He's themed it, decked it all out. How many times do I have to tell you, Trafalgar? Don't give me orders. But he's following through anyway. And uh, Laura's smiling. He's like, ha -ha, he knows what's about to happen. You rats, says Big Mum. <sighs> 18 and 19. Before, before I even read this page aloud, this chapter, gold tier plus chapter. Oh la la. Absolute smiles on my face. It's pretty much been, yeah, it's been the fight all the way through, which was my complaint about the last chapter. Whoa. Okay, let's read this gold tier plus chapter final double page spread. The gun has fired. Give me all you've got then. You think you can beat me, says Big Mum, going out like a boss, like a Yonko, you know, not, not with a joke, not with a scream or a rimper, with a come on, bring it on. I'm Big Mum. <laughs> and that's why we're getting rid of you, says Kid. Damned punk. Big hit. The floor is crumbling. Looking at Big Mum's face, white eyes, blood coming from the mouth, lines all over the place. I think it's over. Your era, says Law, is over. Number one, Yonko, 
defeated. Or well, first Yonko defeated. I mean, I've, I know that we've had uh, Whitebeard defeated, you know, in the past. But um, of of this generation, of the uh, of the post time skip, of the supernovas rise uh, into into the very final of One Piece, Yonko one of four is down. Big Mum and well. No confirmation yet. Not until we see the words on the screen. Uh, you know, performance floor. Bianco, Big Mum, defeated. Ring, ring, ring. This is this is CP Zero. What's up? Big Mum has fallen. We move on the supernova. You know, until we get that confirmation. But I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it's done. So we'll talk about it here. By the way, it says to be continued. This chapter is over. Um, God tier plus chapter. Um, yeah. Number one, defeated. Big Mum, you know, you've been around since Fishman Island. You had all of Whole Cake Island, you know, then you were chasing, uh, chased them to Wano. Uh, there was a little bit of, like, controversy where you kind of went to, like, a little bit of a good guy in Wano. Got knocked out, got captured. It was like, what's going on with Big Man? You're meant to be a Yonko, but you come back here in the final, in Onigashima, and shown why you are a Yonko. You've tanked your way through all of that, you know. You forget that in Whole Cake Island, you know. She was there, she was in the fight, she was getting knocked about. She was chasing them throughout the sea. Wedding cake! She was taking hits and she was still standing at the end. Nobody defeated her there. They ran away from her there. And finally here, she has fallen. She has put up a great run, no matter what you feel about her character or her portrayal, at the end. She uh, she stood up with a smile on her face and said, "Give me what you got. I'm Big Mum. Bam. Cool, cool. Well done. Awesome uh, little twist at the end. You know, you can get speculating on what that misery, uh, homie, is all about. Is it the essence of Mother Caramel? Uh, joy is all around. You know, the uh, S N attack from Kid was great." Um, her then spinning that around, you know, you think that, oh, it's going to be the finisher. She spins it around. She's not down yet. The big ball comes in. The misery attack. Law. Boom. Tap. Bam. Then does the sword through the earth. He's tanking hit after hit after hit, just like Luffy would. Uh, all the way down to the, the ground. Yamato saw the power of it. And then, boom, kid comes up with a gun as well. Uh... What a one. Them two fighting, almost flipping characters for a little bit where kids the straight one and Law's like the, I want to, I want to <laughs> be in the bratty one. I want to be the one who gets the finisher. You both did absolutely fantastic, you two. And uh, out of the two, I definitely think Kid has shown the most kind of growth as a character. Um, whereas Law's kind of gone back, like I say, a little bit. Uh, but... Uh, He's got, you know, he's got new objectives now with the uh, with the Poneglyph stuff. Kid is, uh, this was Kid's moment to recognise Luffy. And they're very much now, uh, you know, Luffy is standing there. He's got Sanji on one side. He's got Zoro on the other side. And now he has Law and he has Kid standing alongside him on as well, which is absolutely awesome. And we, you know, uh, we had the shot of the three captains in Shabbat Ondi. Are we going to get a shot of their three ships it's lined up? going into the war now that's epic absolutely fantastic um and now it gets that out of the way for luffy versus kaido two supernovas to take on one yonko one supernova taking on one yonko uh they did a big feat but that feat is about to be surpassed uh, what a great chapter. Really enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below. What do you think of Big Mum throughout One Piece? Uh, what do you think of this end? Uh, what do you think? Uh, mm -hmm. do you, what do you think of uh, Kid and Law's attacks in this one? And uh, yeah, just what was your highlight? What's your Big Mum highlight uh, throughout, throughout the years? Uh, all right. Okay. Catch you later. Until the next one. Unless I'm playing Legends Arceus. <laughs> all right. Bye-bye. Hey, so thanks for watching. What did you think? Let me know about it in the comments below. And if you enjoyed my video, maybe give it a like. And if you really liked it, why not subscribe? You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Twitch. Oh, and here's a related video you might enjoy and something more fresh. I've been Higassin and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!